Hi guys, welcome back to Prague ICU. Today we will show you how to perform the lung ultrasound in ICU. Also, don't forget to watch our lung ultrasound presentation that will give you more tips and tricks about the topic. We will start the examination with an echo or abdominal probe, which are suitable for evaluating the alveolar interstitial syndrome. Our scanning protocol comprises 12 zones, 6 regions in each hemithorax. These zones are demarcated by the parasternal line, anterior and posterior axillary lines. Upper and lower zones are roughly separated by a horizontal line passing through the nipple. Again, in the left hemithorax, anterior zone is divided by the parasternal axis and anterior external line, upper and lower zones. When scanning anteriorly, the probe should be placed in a longitudinal orientation. Probe's marker dot goes towards the patient's head. Here, we can see in B-mode the lung sliding, which represents sliding of the visceral over the parietal pleura. Lung sliding rules out pneumothorax. Yellow arrows correspond to A-lines that indicate normal aerated lungs. A-lines are horizontal reverberation artifact lines originating from the visceral pleura. Then we continue with the inferior part of the anterior zone. We place the transducer in the longitudinal axis where lung sliding is most clearly demonstrated. We can appreciate lung sliding and A-lines. We perform the same examination in the anterior part of the left hemithorax. Superior and inferior zones are checked. Lateral lung zone is divided by anterior and posterior axillary line. Again, the nipple separates superior and inferior zones. We look for lung sliding and A-lines as markers of aerated lung. If we then move the probe downwards toward the diaphragm, we can observe liver and kidney. Moving the probe cranially in the mid axillary line, costophrenic angle with possible pleural effusion might be seen. Same approach is selected in the lateral zone of the left hemithorax. For evaluating pneumothorax, the high-frequency linear probe provides the highest resolution images of the pleura. Again, we accommodate the probe in a longitudinal axis with a marker going towards the patient's head. In this image, we can see the bed sign. The two ribs on either side of the intercostal space appear as hyperechoic lines with a posterior acoustic shadow. Between the two ribs, lung sliding is present. On M mode, the classical sign of a normally aerated lung is a seashore sign. Then we continue with the same approach in other zones of the chest, looking for lung sliding. Lung sliding is detected in all areas. We can rotate the transducer into the transverse plane that will provide a perfect view of pleural sliding itself. Seashore sign on M mode confirms absence of pneumothorax. 
When looking for a possible pneumothorax, we should scan as many intercostal spaces as possible. Finally, the posterior chest is divided by the midline at the spine and posterior axial line. And once again, we can divide it into superior and inferior zones. To position the patient, we will just get to wrap his arms around himself. This will pull the scapula out a little bit laterally. Here again, we can appreciate the nice hyperechoic structure, which is pleura and A-lines, suggesting a well aerated lung. Thank you for watching Prague ICU and stay tuned for more educational videos.